The Digitech RP5 was my introduction to guitar pedals and guitar effects. The appeal was simply, it just, you got everything all at once. It just made a lot more sense to have everything and experiment that way, and I'm glad I took that route. Being able to make my own effects and blend them together and learn how they work off each other has been a skill I've had to this day. This processor started, I believe, around 1994, 95, and so it's, this is an old one, but it still works. Uh, a lot of the sounds that come with this are still used today, and you get a ton of effects, including flanger, phaser, tremolo, chorus, pitch shifting, and pitch bending. This also included a full band EQ, as well as speaker cabinet emulation or settings. I don't know if it was called emulation back then. This also featured a dual delay, which is two delay times that you can set to work off of each other, and 10 reverb types as well as a built-in tuner. And as we all know, the most important part of playing guitar is being in tune. Now, in addition to that, there is also two distortion types, an overdrive and a grunge. Adding a controller pedal will also give you 10 wah tones and access to whammy effects. The controls are pretty simple on this one. We have two dials for volume and presence, or tone basically, and eight buttons for creating your own custom effects and saving and storing them. Now for the sounds, I'm gonna be using the factory settings for the most part and just kind of running through all of the factory tones. I'm gonna to be omitting the ones that need a controller pedal because I simply don't have one that works with this unit or the unit's not working. So I will be bypassing all of those sounds. Uh, there is a lot to get through, so let's get started on these sounds.
So the Digitech RP5 was my introduction to guitar pedals and guitar effects. I really think if you're a beginning player or just starting out and you want to get started with effects, find something that gives you access to a lot of things, like a multi-effects unit, maybe not like this one because this one's pretty old, but try to find something a little more modern where you can learn to make your own effects and how to blend different sounds together. I think it's really a valuable thing to learn. Now, if you like guitar pedals and guitar effects and hearing all the different sounds that they can make, including some of the older ones, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a full series on all the Digitech X series ones that I have. There's only about three or four, but at least you can look forward to those. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.